Hey you guys, welcome to Whispers in Ink. I am Jennifer Merrill Hampshire and you guys, I am here to help you show some appreciation by giving out some little random acts of kindness. You guys, I I keep three by three cards in my purse. And I went to go give one today and I didn't have one. So we're making some today for Let's Create. But I wanna take a minute first to talk about some colors that are leaving us. Some are some favorites of people that I know and some are not so much favorites, which Either way, you guys, seeing colors go is always super duper sad until, of course, you get to see some of the new colors. So if you haven't seen any of the new colors yet and you're only here with me on YouTube, then Thursday's video is one you are not going to want to miss because I walk you through all of the new colors that we get. And I'm really, really super duper excited about it. But let's take a minute to pay homage, if you will. We're going to keep Fresh Freesia, which I am super excited about. But we're losing Mango Melody, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, and flipping this over, we're losing Mary Merlot, Soft Suede, and Sahara Sand. Plus, we're losing Rich Razzleberry, Blushing Bride, So Saffron, Pear Pizzazz, which is one I'm sad about along with Soft Suede, of course, and then Mint Macron. Those are colors that we're saying goodbye to because we're getting some new colors, you guys, and I am super duper excited about that. So are one of those colors your favorites? Tell me in the comment section, you guys. Tell me, tell me. And let's see, can you guys see that? No, not really. I have a stack. You guys, I pulled my cardstock. I have a stack. Probably about that high of cardstock that's going out. But that's okay because during the BOGO sale, somebody's going to be able to take advantage of that. But today's card, you guys, let's talk a minute about random acts of kindness. I was out with my friend Paula. You guys, if you guys have watched any of my videos, I talk about Paula all the time. Paula and I went to lunch today and um, we, she went to sit down before I did and I didn't see where she went. And there was a very nice lady with her husband and she showed, she pointed to where Paula was. She knew that I was with her. And um, so I went looking for a little card that I had, that I typically have in my purse. Well, I had only one. And it wasn't a thank you card. It was a thinking of you card, which applicable still. But I handed her the one that I had and I told her, one um, one act of kindness deserves another, and I handed her the card. And she came to our table at when they were getting ready to leave, you guys, and she thanked me because it made her day. And that's what we're supposed to do, right? Um, and what was really, really nice is that um, I asked her if I could give her a hug, and she said yes. And I gave her a hug too. So it's nice to be able to make a little connection with someone for doing something nice. Anyways, with that being said, let's take a look at what we're going to do today. Because I have two pieces, you guys. I have basic white and basic vanilla. And I'm going to cut these down to three by six. Okay. And then, and then, and I added a color late in the game, you guys. I have some Fresh Freesia and Highland Heather. These are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And like I said, late in the game, I added 
Blackberry Bliss. I'm excited that this one's staying too. And I love those colors together. And that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters also. But here's the fun part. You guys, how are we going to stamp on that? Hmm. You'll have to wait and see. Because this is strictly stamping today, you guys. Um, and then I have some linen thread because, you know, that's my go-to. Which I'm so happy that that's staying. I don't know where I would be without it. But I have early espresso ink. That's the ink that we're going to be using on the Fresh Freesia and the Highland Heather. But like I said, when I added that Blackberry Bliss, I also went to pull the White Craft ink. Because the early espresso you're not going to be able to see on the Blackberry. But I love using the white on the darker color cardstock packs. Now... I have my Butterfly Brilliance, and I want to talk a minute because, you guys, I actually have two sets. Not because of the Butterfly Birthday Bash, which you guys have heard plenty about, but, and if you haven't, then you need to comment so I can tell you all about it. Um, I have one that is full that I've left whole because this is how it comes, and I did check. It is still available. Um, so I've got this one whole. And then I grabbed the second one. This is an $18 stamp set, you guys. I grabbed the second one just so I could cut it up. I could technically use it as one piece, but to me it just made more sense to have one full and to have one cut up. So if this is something that you're worried about cutting, let me know. I will help you because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to empower you to use your stamps, you guys, for you. Make them work for you. Okay, so let's move these parts. Whoops, keep these. I want to make, we're going to make six three by three cards. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take basic white first. And I'm going to cut it at six inches. Plenty of scraps for sentiments, you guys. So this is six inches, six. This is six by eight and a half. So we're going to then cut, or 11, I'm sorry. This is six by 11. We're going to then cut three. Three, oh, you guys, duh. If I was smart, I would have scored it first, plus more scrap. And then we're going to score this. I should have scored first. Would have been able to score one time and then been done. Okay, so there's our basic white pieces. We have three of those, and then we're going to go back to the beginning. This is our very vanilla. We're going to cut that at six inches, and now I'm going to score it at three inches, you guys, one time. I know that there's going to be extras, but I'm okay with that score being on there. So we're going to score that one time, and then we got three more pieces. One. Two, and then one more, three, and then this is a scrap piece. Okay, so we've got three vanillas and, and three basic whites, and that's it, you guys. That's all there is to it. Now it's just stamping, which is super duper easy. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to use the thank you because I need a thank you. I want thank yous. Do -de do Move all my little parts and pieces here. Here's the thank you that I want to use. And I need, I think we're going to use, actually, we're going to use these little pieces. Yeah, we'll use these because this is a nice big piece. We'll keep that for something else. I'm going to take my block. And my thank you. And we're going to do all of them in early espresso. So we'll do six. Three of each. 
one, two, and three, just like that. And then same, same on the basic white. One, two, and three. There we go. So there's our thank yous, done and done. I'm gonna close that for the minute because I wanna cut these up so that I have all these ready to go. Whoops, wrong way. All right, so we're going to, I'm not gonna worry about size per se. So there's one, two, they did end up being three quarters of an inch each, three, so we've got those, and then one, two, and three. Okay, so three quarters of an inch, each one, and there's plenty of room there. All right, now, second part of stamping. I'm gonna bring in my scratch paper. And we're gonna do the brown stamping first of these four pieces, the early espresso stamping. And, but I didn't know which butterfly I wanted to use. And I'm thinking that I wanna use this one because I want it to be maybe slightly larger. So see what I'm taking here? The swallowtail, we would lose too much, the biggest one. So here's the biggest stamp, my most used stamp probably. I think with this one, I think we'd lose too much versus this one. So I think we're gonna use this one. And yes, I know we could do whichever ones we want. So put that back in there, but I think we're gonna use that. I like that one. And as Paula would say, it's my card. So. We're going to ink this up and we're going to stamp all four of these and they don't have to be all exactly the same. That's entirely up to you. Make sure that you're inked up really good and stamp. And I think I caught this one. Oh, that's okay. So there's that. And then we're just going to keep going. Make sure you press the middle. Let it sit and marinate for a minute. And then just keep going. Oh, you guys. I love doing these cards because, you guys, I've gotten emails from people that I've, uh, that I've given them to. And you never know if somebody needs a little bit of something, something. Okay, so there are those three. I'm gonna clean this stamp now with my chamois, because I don't want any residual ink. No residual ink. And I'm gonna bring in my white. And if I remember correctly, you guys, I think this one needs re-inking. Let's see. Oh, yes. Let's grab the ink refill for that. Ink, ink, ink refill. There we go. So how I refill, white is a little bit different, you guys. White is, this white is thicker. So I'm... really given a good solid because this this ink the base or the craft white comes uninked so I've only had this one for not very long so I, I must not have inked it well enough when I got it for it to stay moist 
So this is not typical that you have to ink it all the time. Because this ink is thick. This is thick stuff. So as you can see, that's how I filled it. I'm going to take, this is just a plastic spoon. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to rub it in to my ink pads or to the ink pad. Make sure that you're getting that really good inside or down deep, I should say. Ooh, that could sound bad. Sorry about that. And then rub, rub, rub. And make sure to get that in there. And see how it's smooth? There's not a lot of variation in there. All right. So there's that. There's that. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to run this under the faucet at my sink. But here's the other thing. Now that we're going to ink this, because I just put ink on here, you really, 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 really need to tap 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 don't go full on banging on it trust me on this so we're going to just do a light tap on here so that we can get all of our stuff with ink on it and we're going to stamp we're going to hold that on for a second, let it marinate. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look pretty? I love that. Love it. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. Making sure, and then I'm going to flip it this way. And we're gonna stamp. Now, the other thing is, you guys, these need to sit and dry. So we're gonna we're gonna do ribbon and stuff with these, and then we're gonna come back to the blackberry ones. So and we're gonna close this up, lickety split, and there's the second one. Oh, I love these, you guys. Aren't those pretty? So pretty. They almost look like they're stamped in purple to me. My, I'm sure my nail polish helps, but. All right, so those are gonna go up there. Put my scratch paper back where it belongs. And now we're gonna fold all of our card bases. And you guys are gonna be totally surprised at how quick this goes now that we got all our stamping done. So. I'm not going to do any stamping on the inside, and I'm not going to do stamping on the inside because I want to have plenty of room to write. And if no, if you have not gotten a note from me, my handwriting is very large, you guys. I have big, scribbly, I think it's scribbly anyway, scribbly handwriting. Okay, so we have... Three of each, so I'm going to pull a vanilla and a white for the blackberry pieces. And then I'm going to put these right here for the minute, because we're going to put on two of these, we'll do one Fresh Freesia and one Highland Heather, and then we'll come back and we'll put some ribbon on this one too. And I'm going to do different ribbons on this. Hello, everybody. So this one... This Fresh Freesia one, I want to take and just put a little bow. Simple, basic. Oh, if the twine, if the thread will cooperate, goodness. Bring in my reverse tweezers. And we'll do just a little bow. And then, and I meant to grab, we'll pull this out, lock that in place, 
and then we'll cut that just a simple little bow okay and no worries because I'm gonna secure this in place because sometimes you're I'm gonna put a glue dot under here so in my purse that the bow doesn't come undone because you know that happens too but I want to take this one and I want a little piece of this. It kind of looks like gauze, you guys, but it's not. This is the um, the woven ribbon in the annual catalog. So I'm going to take a little sprig of that, just that much, and we're going to use it on this Highland Heather one. And I'm going to put the bow up here on this side so there's room so you can see the butterfly. And I think... This one we're going to go around two times. One and two. And how are we feeling about that? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that. And then, so we're gonna tie our knot here, use our reverse tweezers. We're gonna stick in our little sprig of that woven ribbon We're gonna tie another knot like that so that it looks kind of like a bow. It puts itself in bow form. And then we're gonna tie a bow. <laughs> tie, tie, tie a bow. I think we're gonna do it this way. Here's the other reason. I like using the reverse tweezers here too, you guys, because it adds just enough weight to hold my paper still. Particularly on these little smaller pieces, they don't have nearly as much weight as the bigger ones do. Plus I typically have layers, which on these I don't do a lot of layers. Okay, you need to come out of there like that. And there's the loop. Make this a little bit smaller. And how did that get so mangy looking? There we go. There we go. I'll show you in one sec. Let's get this tightened up. And cut this off. This one's a little long. So here's bow number two, just with a little extra, just a little extra piece. Great way to use some scrap pieces, you guys. Amazing way if you've got like a little stitch of stuff that's at the end of your spool. Um, amazing way to use the ends. Okay, so we got that and that. We're going to leave these naked and... We're going to pull in our thank yous. This one's going to be a vanilla. So this one's going to be a white. Do dimensionals on these. Just little simple little. I think I want to tighten this one up a little bit. there and there and I like making these each one a little bit different so we've got this little thank you and that's going to go up here and then this one's going to be the vanilla one and this one we're just going to tighten this up on this side and we're going to put little dimension or dimensionals on that And this will go down here and then this will go on this and this will just get glued on these are all going to get glued on now I don't even put you guys I don't even put these in envelopes so I leave these for waitresses the bank tellers um, I have these because you never know 
How cute is that? Super simple, you guys. Great use of some scrap pieces. If you've got some larger scraps, you can use those. And then we got this one. And we'll do this. And remember I said all of them are going to be a little bit different. There's that. This one's going to get glued on. So what do you guys think? This one goes on here. Now, remember I was talking about a glue dot. So this bow doesn't get messed up. So I'm going to take my take your pick tool, which I love. Take that and we're going to roll this. See how you can roll it, make it look kind of like a tube. And we're going to secure that bow, the whole thing, the knot and all, is all underneath that little, you can see just a little bit of that uh, glue dot there, but that's okay. So we've got that. Now this one, it's tied a couple of times, not going to worry about that one. So we're going to glue this one. Oh, this one needs a thank you yet. You guys are supposed to be watching, making sure that I don't make any mistakes. Got a little heavy handed with the glue down here. Spread that out. Put this up here. All I did was take a piece of scrap. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So this one is going to get a glue dot and it's going to get tucked under that bow just enough to where you can still see the thank you so that it looks like that. Super cute. And then this one, I think we're going to shorten this end. You never know, you guys. I don't ever know if I want to do flags on one side or the other. So I leave it until I, I'm i putting it together. This one, we're going to do a glue dot there and one there. And we're going to tuck this in, the bow, like that. And then we have these two left. One of these is gonna get a, a bow, a holy cow bow, you guys, cause you know, we really haven't done a holy cow bow. So I'm gonna take three fingers. Now, if you have a bow maker, you can do a bow maker, which I have a bow maker, but I like to just use my fingers. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it around one, two, two whole times, and I'm gonna cut right there. And I'm going to grab my second pair of reverse tweezers and I'm going to pinch the middle. Pinch the middle. And then, <laughs> I think we'll take this one, not that it matters. And we're going to wrap this around two times. And over on this side, Gonna take my Stampin' Up! Reverse Tweezers, stick that there, take the bow part and stick it in here with my reverse tweezers, and then I'm gonna tie a knot. This one's gonna be, this one's gonna be all kinds of full of tenderly kind of stuff. That'll go there, this'll come off of here, and we'll tighten this and we're going to tie a knot knot in this one. Like that. And we'll cut this one. I have um my favorite waitress at a restaurant, you guys. And she loves getting these little cards that I make. So I'm sure that I will save this one for her. Okay. 
And then this one I think we're gonna leave blank too. We got two more, here's our two more. That one will go there, this one will go here. And we're gonna glue this on. Can you guys hear my wind chime in the background? That was an anniversary present from my husband a few years ago. And I love it. It gets brought into the house in the winter. And because we were painting the porch, we haven't put the hooks back on yet. So I haven't put it back outside yet. So here's our thank you. And for this thank you, we're going to put a glue dot there and we're going to put a dimensional down at the end and this is going to go right there just like that isn't that pretty and doesn't that look purple okay let's tuck in my nails but still doesn't that look purple that's white ink you guys i love it Okay, this one's going to go on the vanilla. All right, so tell me, you guys, do you have this stamp set? It is still available. I do know that. A friend of mine said that I should post every single card that I made with this stamp set. I told her that I wasn't sure if you guys, if everybody could handle that, because there's a lot. I have a lot of cards with this stamp set. Okay. And this one, we're going to tuck this one this way. Because I don't put it in an envelope anyways, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to just, I'm going to double glue dot it at the, at the top. So I have two little glue dots on there. There you go. Two little glue dots on there. And then I'm going to tuck it under this little crazy bow. And there we go. Okay. So random acts of kindness. Tell me in the comment section, you guys, who could, who would you leave a card like this for? Who would you leave a card like this for? You guys, they're so simple. 32 minutes and we did stamping and cutting. Really easy. And then which color combo is your favorite? Do you guys like the Freesia, the Blackberry Bliss, or the Highland Heather? All right, you guys. That's what I have for you today. Do you guys want to see some close-ups? I think I showed you all the close-ups all. That was the crazy one. I don't know that I showed you that one. But, um, yeah. So, tell me in the comments which one is your favorite, number one. And, number two, who could you leave it for? I have a couple of new ideas, actually. Just thinking about that. I usually do them at the bank and the dentist office and the mail, the post office and, you know, those kinds of places. But, and waitresses, of course. But tell me who you could leave one of these random act of kindness cards for. I hope that you guys have a great day getting crafty. Blackberry Bissonita. That one turned. Don't you love how that white ink turned out on that Blackberry Bliss? Oh, love it. Love it. All right, you guys. Have a great day getting crafty. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here every Tuesday at 3, you guys. We're solving all the solutions of all the troubles in the world here every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Central. <laughs> at least I'd like to think so. Okay, you guys, have a great day. Bye.